Hey guys, thanks for stopping on my channel. Today I got a special little project and let's get right into it. Holy moly moly moly. All right, thanks for joining. This is the little planter here that I have. It's a little desk planter. I got it from Ikea. It has these little stands here for it. I already have a couple of seeds in there. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be planting two different types of Bermuda grasses here of really good high quality seeds. For the project I'm gonna be using Berenberg Elite Bermuda Seed Monaco with the yellow jacket coating that they have. You look here, you can see Pure seed is only 49.57%. So almost half the bag is pure seed. This little bag costs a lot more money than your big bag that you're gonna get from your box stores because this contains more pure seed than let's say a 30 pound bag of Scott's. The other Bermuda grass seed I'm gonna be using comes from Athens Seed Co. And it is a Bermuda Grass Rio variety. Um, this one comes highly recommended. It's a five pound bag and it's 48% pure seed. Uh, this is an up and comer now in the Bermuda Grass world. And again, the Monaco. So I will be planting them side by side and comparing the results and how they look. I'm gonna be planting them in potting mix, Miracle Grow. I like this potting mix. It has everything I need in it. It has fertilizer, a little bit of fertilizer. It has organic compounds. And it'll definitely help the seed grow and germinate a lot quicker. All right, first things first, let's put the soil. I'm gonna bury the seeds about an eighth of an inch from the top. Bermuda likes to be well covered to germinate. And another trick is to be sure that you have plenty of water. Have it nice and watered up. And also to keep it dark. So tonight what I'm gonna be doing is after I plant the seed, I'll wet it very thoroughly, nice and wet, and then I will leave it in my garage in the dark to try to see if that'll help expedite the germination. Yeah, this is a good mix of soil. I don't want to use topsoil because it doesn't have as much organic matter. And I want it to be as close to the top, so then that way I can have it nice and level and take care of the growth, because I don't want the grass to grow that high. I want it to look like a little mini golf course. I'm getting close to where I want to lay my seeds. Patten it down. I think this is good. So, I 
and start with the Monaco. Cut the seed. Very yellow, very little. The seeds are tiny. Let's check out the Rio. The Rio comes as a blue seed. A little, little teeny tiny seeds. Let's go ahead and dunk these in here. Beautiful. These guys are going to be best friends or worst enemies. Alright, cool. So I got them mixed in there. Half and half. Right, so I've got a little trusty marker which is white and it's on white I'm gonna put an M here and an R here so we can tell which one is which because once they get covered there's no telling all right so I'm getting more potting mix I'm gonna cover it up With my yarn, I use a mixture of potting mix and peat moss for this process. I always like getting organic matter onto the seeds. Um, I just feel like it definitely helps. Gently so the seeds don't go floating away. I definitely don't want to have to mix seeds, but we'll be able to tell. Alright, so I'm going to let this sit, soak up. And for the next hour, I'll be coming back and just putting more water on top and making sure that the seeds don't mix. And I'll be giving you guys update. I'm gonna put it out in the sun and keep it in the dark. And just let it do its thing. Thank you guys for watching. If you like my content, give me a little like and subscribe. Thanks guys.